Olivier. Uh, a pleasure to be here, uh, as always, and uh, thank you very much for the accommodation. And, uh, um, I don't actually like it when there's the a big fuss, but uh, it's uh, the, the, the way it is sometimes. Um, um, I'm supposed to uh, make a bunch of positive remarks, uh, which is actually uh, which, 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 which actually is is uh, okay in this case because there's a lot of positive things to say. Um, uh, so my notes here cue me that uh, we've adopted 19 policy in my statements. Uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, that uh, uh, the at-large summit for uh, London is progressing, and um, uh, and we we now have a, a board tracking document which is uh, related very much to the uh, policy advice statements in a way. Um, uh, I have said in multiple times that I've been extremely impressed with the growth and maturation of uh, ALAC over the years. Um, so the text of that is that I would not have thought that it would uh, develop as positively as it has. I mean, it's a great tribute to Cheryl and Olivier to everybody, uh, the um, uh, progress from uh, the early 2002, two, three, four period when I first got involved. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm a very big fan. And um, uh, when I was chair of SSAC, uh, I spent uh, a fair amount of time watching uh, S uh, ALAC and adopting some of the lessons about, about that and, and the way we um, uh, improved some of the processes in, in SSAC. Um, the, um, the question was raised uh, a while ago about um, paying attention to advice from ALAC. Um, I took that, <coughs> me, I took that seriously uh, in two different ways. One was a, uh, a suggestion back to ALAC that uh, um, if the advice came in form that we could uh, sort of keep track of it. Um, and again, drawing from uh, my history with RFCs and with uh, and someone that said, I put a number on it, put a label and so forth and send it to us and then we have to pay attention to it. We can keep track of it. And then, um, which, which you guys did. Uh, and then um, the next step in that process was a uh, advice tracking process, which uh, uh, turns out to be good medicine for a lot of things. We got comparable inputs. Uh, or I should say we got inputs from SSAC that resulted in a comparable uh, response and that it was uh, uh, we're trying to raise the level of that. So we have now uh, a draft, uh, or it's a first cut of uh, a advice register and we populated it with um, some of the advice that uh, we think we've gotten from you. And I don't know that we've gotten feedback yet, which, which is fine, it's all very recent. But uh, it really is a work in progress, and it's intended to be effective and useful. So, um, uh, and it's a two-way tool. It's, it's, it's a tool for, for a three-way tool for the board, for the staff, and, and for ALAC to track what's happened to the advice. So the very first thing is when you give advice and then it shows up in the register, is it accurately represented? Um, and so that's the first thing that you should uh, make a point of checking that uh, that communication actually worked. And then that's just the first step, of course. The next step is uh, uh, have we processed it in some fashion? Have we evaluated it? And then finally, um, if we said we're going to accept the advice, do we actually implement it and track it all the way through? So uh, uh, do hold us um, to account on all of this. Uh, uh, and also uh, be forceful in the response about the whether the tool works the way that it should or does the job because we're still in the formative stage and um, uh, even though the people who put a lot of work into it, it it's still necessarily a kind of first draft and um, there's there's time and opportunity to uh, refine all that. Um, I, I can't think of any um, other kinds of things to say. Uh, no, uh, no suggestions for how to do better than you're doing because it's uh, 
uh, you, you really do a spectacular job. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, what I, I'd be happy to interact or uh, answer questions.